All right, guys, I did want to come quickly on here and give y'all a disclaimer. There's like a few clips that are blurry. Don't hate me. Um, it's nothing like strategic. It's pretty much just like a few little moments where my camera went out of focus, but it's nothing like too bad to where you, to where you won't notice what I'm doing. Like you can see it um in detail so i just wanted to come on here real quick and say that so let's just get on with the video i am parched all right guys what is up and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is shiana so today i am doing a video over the new anastasia rivera palette so I bought this palette at work um, when it first came out and it's literally just been sitting here. So let's play around with this palette today. I'm not swatching this this eyeshadow palette. This is just me testing out the shadows. You see in the eyeshadow look that I do with it. I'm gonna try to incorporate most of the most colors as as possible um, for a nice eye look with just using this palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna pull this back. Top row is shimmers and all of the bottom row is mattes. Besides this one, this one's a matte white and it also comes with your Anastasia brush, which you guys already know if you have an Anastasia palette. I am really excited about this palette because this palette just really screams summer, so I'm gonna do like a summery spring eye look. So let's get started. What am I gonna do with these bangs? <laughs> I know, I have on a different wig, shoot me. Not literally, but whatever, who cares? Since I have bangs now, I'm just going to use my um, Precisely Brow Pencil in shade four. Um, and I'm just going to lightly go in with this because anybody gonna see my eyebrows, honestly. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna carve out my brows first, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I'm gonna use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm just gonna go all over my eyelid with this. Another thing is, I like the packaging on it, but as a makeup artist and somebody who's into makeup, like a lot of makeup, this is gonna get dirty. Like in all honesty, this this is just gonna get dirty. I'm sorry. Unless you just keep this in a safe place, it's gonna happen. It, well, for my eyes, I wanna do, I guess a cut crease and I'm going to incorporate the blue and the pink and the browns in this palette. So first, I'm gonna use um, Coastal Line as my transition color. It's pigmented. It's, it's real pigmented, honestly. This looks like, this looks peachy in the palette, but like, look how right it is on my eyes like this is perfect now I'm gonna take palm into my crease oh be generous on how much you apply on your brush because this shit right here this is some this is some pigment. And now I'm just kind of packing that product um, directly into my crease. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going back in with that same brush I used for my transition shade and I'm going to add a little bit of this hot pink, the Bahamas, just a little bit. I mean, literally just a little. All right, so now that I've blended out, yeah. This, this is fire, like, this, this palette is fire, I'm sorry. And I just had like the most amazing idea. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Don't you love when like you get, you step into like your creative vibe and Instantly, like amazing, amazingness just comes out. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to take my Morphe, my Morphe concealer in the shade 0, 0.00 um, to carve out my cut crease. And I'm using my Morphe concealer brush in the M421. I literally, I like to start like in the middle. I don't know why I just I feel like that's like that's where you should always start if you are cutting your crease because that way you have your exact like high point I guess it comes cutting your crease take your time take your time i like to do my angle first and then connect it because that way i can see like where exactly i want it to stop i guess I'm like so proud of this cut crease. Now that I've done that, my next, I'm going to put sales, this white. I'm putting this white all over on top of my crease color. Well, my crease base. Oh yeah. Now when patting this onto the lid, I'm not going directly up at the crease line because I'm gonna use a smaller detailed brush. You know, I kind of just really thought of this eyeshadow look at the top of my head, but I kind of pray that nobody else has done this look. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, go ahead and do my other eye um but since you've already seen this one i'm not going to show you this one so so i'm going to move on to my face um i'm going to go ahead and prime my skin because i haven't already um i'm using my professional For our foundation, I'm going to be using my Morphe Flu Fluidy. My foundation is on. I'm gonna go back in with my no filter concealer from ColourPop. I'm gonna go ahead and contour with also my no filter concealer just in a darker shade this is oh I didn't tell you so my concealer is shade my lighter concealer is shade medium 28 and then my darker one is deep dark 52 <laughs>
for setting powder, um, I've been using the Makeup Revolution Banana Deep. And my Anastasia palette, and I'm gonna use the shade. It's, I think it's seashells, but it's just spelled different. <laughs> so it's this blue shade right here. All right, for my inner corner, I'm gonna use Inheritance, this bright yellow gold. Mm -hmm. Using my Amrezy highlight. Mm -hmm. I wanna do a pink lip. So I'm gonna go in my Buxom, what is this? Power Pump Lip Balm. It has like a pink tint to it. A shoot of a shade. My Ruby Kisses Dark Brown Lip Liner. And then this Elf Luminous Berry multi-purpose stick and I'm gonna top it with my ColourPop ultra glossy lip gloss let's see oh my gosh yes Yes, 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 yes. More freaking yes. So this is the finished look, guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because what are you waiting for? Just join the gang. I really enjoyed doing this tutorial and not only that I really enjoyed the eyeshadow palette um, it's really pretty it's definitely a summer and spring palette I didn't have any issues with it I'm probably gonna use it a lot I hope you guys go out and buy it because honey you won't be disappointed pretty much so make sure you leave comments down below and let me know how you like this look or if you are inspired and you want to buy it just let me know anything and i will see you guys in my next video bye